with the uh, folks that Trump needs to pardon or Biden, actually anybody, whoever wants to pardon these folks, uh, these are the folks that need to be pardoned. Lemieux Peltier, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, Mumia Abu-Jamal, Sada Shakur, Chelsea Manning, give uh, him or her another one. Reality winner, too. Reality winner, leaked the documents. One document, five years. Incredible. So... Reality winner needs to pardon Donald Trump. Donald Trump, you need to pardon reality winner. You need to pardon Leonard Peltier, Native American on a reservation, accused of killing two FBI agents, probably set up. Even if, uh, you know, it was him that did it, it seems like probably was deserved anyways. So South Dakota reservation, Leonard Peltier needs to be freed. Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, Mumia Abu-Jamal, he was accused of murdering a Philadelphia cop, been on death row for, you know, forever. Asada Shakur, this is a, another accused murder with the Black Liberation Army, but Asada Shakur, there was no gunpowder residue on Asada Shakur's hands, on her hands. No fingerprints on any weapon shot with her hands up, and it shot the nerve in the right arm, so it was impossible for her to shoot a weapon. So Asada Shakur, Asada Shakur needs to be pardoned too. Ridiculous. Why the hell, how did she even get convicted with all this evidence? So Chelsea Manning just to double down just to make sure. And let's, uh, let's get little Mumia up, right? From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. Great radio voice and the fact that he makes, you know, good ass points from jail. From jail. So this is, uh, you know, on Democracy Now! with Amy Goodman, who's one of the top ten sexiest YouTubers of all time. She's smart. She's intelligent. In 1982, Mumia Abu-Jamal was sentenced to die for killing Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner. He's always maintained his innocence as perhaps America's most famous prisoner. In 2011, an appeals court upheld his conviction, but also vacated his death sentence at oh, But in, well, Mumia, welcome to Democracy Now! Why don't you tell us where you are? Good morning. I'm in the, uh, the eastern side of Pennsylvania uh, for the first time in uh, a quarter of a century. Actually, more. Um, it's called Mahanoi. Don't ask me what it means. I have no idea. But uh, it's uh, not far from Philadelphia and pretty close to New York City. Can you tell us what it means to no longer be on death row? Well, uh, I could, but I'd be lying because uh, I call this slow death row. Uh, life in Pennsylvania means life. Pennsylvania has one of the largest life populations of any state in the United States. It had the distinction of having the absolute highest number of juvenile lifers uh, of any state in the United States, indeed of any jurisdiction in the world. So that should give you some sense. Juan, if you're still there, if you'd like to ask Mumia Abu-Jamal a question. Well, Mia, I know that over the years, uh, it's been a while since we've talked, but over the years, this enormous movement has developed around the world, demanding your freedom and your end, uh, and uh, insisting on the unjust nature of the trial that, that occurred uh, many years ago in your case. Uh, your reflections on this enormous movement that has developed and, and, and its, uh, its role in terms of the prison industrial complex in general, in your case in particular? Well, I think uh, it is the essence of a grassroots movement uh, because it came from the bottom, not from the top. Uh, these were people who, many of whom I knew in freedom and who would not let me go and would not leave me alone uh, and held on to me despite every challenge. Um, at the core, of course, are people that I fell in love with many years ago known as the Move Organization. And so from several members of the Move Organization, Pam Africa, Ramona Africa, um, they built around them.